Now for the more formal argument. A verifier for language L is a deterministic Turing machine where L is the set of strings W for which there's another string C such that V accepts the pair WC. In other words, for every W in the language, there's a certificate C that can be paired with W so that V will accept. And for every W not in the language L, there's no such C. It's intuitive to think of W as a statement and of C as a proof. If the statement is true, then there should be a proof for it that the verifier V can check. On the other hand, if W is false, then no proof should be able to convince the verifier that it's true. A verifier is polynomial if its running time is bounded by a polynomial in the length of the string W. Note that this W is the same as the one in the definition here. It's the string that's a candidate for the language. If we included the certificate in the bound, then it becomes meaningless since we could make C as long as necessary. So that's a polynomial verifier. And we claim that the set of languages that have polynomial time verifiers is the same as NP. The key to understanding this connection is once again this picture of the tree of computation performed by the non-deterministic machine. If a language is in NP, then there's some non-deterministic machine that recognizes it, meaning that for every string in the language, there's an accepting computation path. Now, a verifier can't simulate the whole tree of the non-deterministic machine in polynomial time, but it can simulate a single path. It just needs to know which path to simulate. But this is what the certificate can tell it. The certificate can act as directions for which turns to make in order to find the accepting computation of the non-deterministic machine. Hence, if there's a non-deterministic machine that can recognize the language, there's a verifier that can verify it. Now we'll argue in the other direction. Suppose that V verifies a language. Then we can build a non-deterministic machine whose computation tree will look a bit like a jellyfish. At its very top, we'll have a high degree of branching as the machine non-deterministically appends a certificate C to its input. Then it just deterministically simulates the verifier. If there's any certificate that causes V to accept, the non-deterministic machine will find it. If there isn't one, then the non-deterministic machine won't.